CML, ML Asset Management. Projects, which utilize artificial intelligence, are usually complex, require heterogeneous teams and harbor a high risk of failure. The process model for AI systems engineering, or PAYS for short, is a process model for the systematic and standardized development and operation of AI-based system solutions. Procedures from computer science and data-driven modeling are combined with those of classic engineering disciplines. A crucial part to enable such a development process is to support an efficient asset exchange between the different phase, such as data collection, model training, but also deployment and handover. Let us have a look what are typical assets and why do we need ML asset management? Why do we need ML asset management? Major ad advantages are visibility, interpretability, and operability. Inside a company or an organization, it is usually the case that different machine learning assets, such as datasets and models, are developed by various groups and individuals. However, these assets are generally not discoverable and accessible by others in the company or organization. Even if they are available, it is usually hard for the users to understand what the asset is for and under which conditions it was generated or trained. One another issue is the discrepancy between the environment in which an asset is created and the environment in which other users will use it. It can lead to various compatibility issues and hinder the usage of assets. We have developed a unified ML asset management platform called CMML to address these issues. It provides a central asset registry to make assets visible to all users inside the organization or company. Furthermore, it captures further meta information for each asset to make them more interpretable. Finally, the online deployment integrated into CML solves the issue of interoperability of assets by providing a standard interface to deploy the assets. Let's take a look on the features of CMML. CMML provides user management with the ability to register new users. The login screen allows users to log in with their username and password. The dataset section of CML is used for the management of data for training and evaluating models. It provides users with a tabular overview of registered models, including metadata such as the name, version, author, inputs and outputs of the model. Users can add new datasets to the registry while optionally providing aforementioned metadata. For certain types of datasets like CSV files, the platform automatically detects the parameters. Nevertheless, the user can always edit and override the parameter list. Understanding the data is a crucial step in developing any machine learning application. CML offers multiple methods to visualize and analyze the data. For instance, F-test analysis could be performed to identify the importance of features in the dataset. For larger datasets, the analysis can be very time-consuming. Therefore, it is possible to limit the analysis to smaller random subset of the data. All plots used for visualizing the data in CML are interactive. The user can plot different features against each other and zoom in and out to investigate the more interesting parts of the data. CML also provides a search functionality for models which considers the metadata of each model. This helps other users to find the relevant models for their task and use directly or adapt it in their own applications. As with the datasets, it is possible to register models in CMML. Online deployment. Online deployment is possible and allows users to evaluate models quickly. For a limited set of model types, CML offers a simple online deployment option in which the model can be deployed by a simple click and then be evaluated by providing the inputs to it. Offline deployment. CML offers offline deployment for all models to deploy them locally. CML can ease development and design of AI in distributed teams.